Hello folks, Amy Brian returning to my Let's Play of Corpse Party. This is part 11, and part of my October Halloween Marathon. Continuing exactly where I left off, I just got done reading uh, Yoshi's uh, diary to find out the true uh, reason why Sachi has been going around killing people. Sending the souls of children to her mother so she wouldn't be lonely anymore. That is some seriously fucked up shit. <laughs> But, time to get going. There's a stuffed doll in the shape of a black cat lying in the middle of the floor. Pick it up. Yep. Acquired black cat plushie. Okay, so I have it. Go back to the first floor. What the hell did we just see? He leaped from the roof of the building. So I'm guessing that was the principal of Heavenly House. Huh? Oh god. Yuka, don't look. Is it just... Yeah, I doubt he can even find rest after what he did. So he's just reliving his death over and over again. That's horrible. Wait, what's that? Looks like a key. Yeah, but a key to what? I'm gonna go get it. Don't, it's too dangerous. I'll be alright. I'll wait for my chance to rush in and take it. Guy, what the? Man, it's a lot smaller than it looked from back there. Is it to a desk or something? Principal's key. Okay, you got it. Now get back here, Satoshi. to the third floor. Wait, have I checked that? Yeah, apparently I did. He recovered from Principal Yana, Yanagi Hori's body was for his office door after all. It turns easily and the door swings open. Huh. What is going on in this room? It didn't mean... I didn't mean for it to happen. It was just a temporary lapse in judgment. She's the one at fault. She clearly overreacted to the situation. 
cold. Look at all the papers on the walls here. There's definitely something off about this place. Well, they did say the principal suffered some sort of mental collapse before he died. Oh, this is the event where he graffitied all over his uh, walls with incoherent writings. That must, that must be what's all over the walls. She's the one at fault. She clearly overreacted to the situation. What is it? There's a small hemp bag in the desk drawer, absolutely slathered with blood. Big brother? I have a bad thing about this. You could don't look. A human tongue sits at the bottom of the bag, all dried up and stiffened with age. Ah, ah. What? What is it? I recognize that sound. like to move on now. Every night, every single night, the same dream. I deeply regret what I did. I can't even truly express how ashamed I am. But how much are you going to make me suffer for it? Hehehehe. <laughs> Oh, I understand. I get it. You're not really dead. You're just pretending. <laughs> but think of the position you're putting me in. I can't allow you to tell another living soul about what I did to you. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to fix it so you can never say another word again. You like that? You like that? You like that? If I ever see you in my dreams again, I'll be back. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. Satoshi. Satoshi, big brother, are you okay? You suddenly stopped talking and neither one of us could get any response out of you. Yeah, I'm okay. I was just watching some unpleasant memories unfold. Huh? Inside this bag is Sachiko's tongue. What? He... After the principal lost his mind, he decided he couldn't have Sachiko squealing on him to anyone. So he dug up her body and cut off her tongue. That's barbaric. I think he sh we should give this back to her. I'm sure she must be looking for it. Give it to Sachiko? It's a secret passage, and there's a ladder. 
Big Brother. I don't like it. It's got those charms of protection all over it. Yeah, but that means the principal was deathly afraid of whatever's down there. We should check it out. What? I'll go first. Naomi and Yuka, you come down afterward. Big Brother. Be careful, Satoshi. I will. I'm gonna go take a bathroom break and I'll be back. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. Eek. What is it? It's a scrapbook of the murder case full of newspaper articles with photos. Four children abducted. Follow up report. Sachiko Shinazaki. Someone circled a photograph of one of the victims in red pen and wrote in the name Sachiko Shinazaki below it. Hmm. This is supposed to tell us something about her? I don't know. Uh, look. There's another newspaper clipping in there. Seems like an older one. July 20th, 1953. Man, this one's from long before the murder incident. That was almost 60 years ago. Tenjin Times. Heavenly Host Elementary loses beloved nurse. Eastern medicine, unlike its more popular popular western counterpart often seeks to treat the mind and soul rather than the body. One of its most renowned local practitioners, Yoshi Shinozaki, 27, was found dead after taking a spill down a flight of stairs and breaking her neck. Recently serving as school nurse at Heavenly Host Elementary, it's there that the body was found. Though, so, though through song and, so, song and stories, she had been, she had transformed the school infant infirmary into a fun invigorating place to be no doubt she was greatly missed many students were looking forward to an upcoming field trip of Miss Shinozaki and have expressed deep regret at the cancellation of these plans though a great number of children are too young to fully understand what happened there is a pervading sense of melancholy throughout the school this day that's so sad could this have some relation to the Shinozaki estate Naho mentioned in her notes. Ah, oh, look, there's a related article on the same page. Only daughter of deceased school nurse reported missing. And there's a picture. She, Shichiko Shinozaki reported missing. The hell? It's the same girl. It's Shichiko. Exactly the same as in the photo from the murder incident 20 years later. The two photos are practically identical. How is that possible? How can she exist in both eras? No matter how you look at it, it's definitely the same person. And whoever put together the scrapbook obviously made the connection, too. This is just getting weird. Indeed. It's like she found a way to stop aging or she came back to life. Oh, look who. Ah, crap. What is it? We have to hide now. That's Sachiko, isn't it? Uh-huh. Damn, come on. Let's try going up. <clears throat> I can't move. I can't speak. It's like I'm completely paralyzed. Uh. 
Something seems different about her, though. Wait, stop. No. Get away from me. I said stop. Ah, she, she was Aki. Ah, she was Aki, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you. Come on, stand up. Ah, 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 ah. Mommy? Oh, hello, Shachiko. You saw it, didn't you? Come on, move, damn it. Gah, get away, quickly. Come here. Ah! You saw everything, didn't you? Ah! 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 You saw it, didn't you? <laughs> Shimazaki, we're getting out of here. Come on. Kishinuma. Shimazaki, wait. Why is it? We're not being followed. Yoshi's accent and Sachiko's disappearance. Looks like we're seeing them firsthand. What is he planning to do with her body? He's hiding it, isn't he? According to that old newspaper article, the mother died in an accident, and the daughter was reported missing. That's just unconscionable. So if we're going to hide. Shichiko's body, where would you do it? I couldn't even venture a guess. Remember that manuscript Mr. Kibiki was writing? The one Mochia told us about? There was something in it about a cursed basement room that had been sealed up since the school was first opened. Do you think maybe? Good call, yeah. Let's check it out. Okay. Hmm. 
It's the body of a senior high school student. Makoto Nagarayama. At least I think I pronounced it right. Stop. What's wrong? There's something here. Huh? Hey, is there really something down this hall? There definitely is. Be very, very careful. Okay, what should I be looking out for? Pretty creepy when you na label a room as in question marks. Hmm. Well, that's even more creepier. What's wrong? This room seemed to be set up for black magic or witchcraft or something. How do you figure? I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Come on, we should keep moving. You said there was a presence out by the incinerator, right? Actually, how about you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you. Uh, okay, but don't take too long. Huh? What was that voice just now? I didn't say any of that. Shimazaki! Hey, Shimazaki! What? What is it? No. God, no. Kishinuma! Kishinuma! Am I trapped in here? Open up, come on! Kishinuma! Somebody open the damn door! Come on, please! Shinozaki? Am I ever glad to see you? And alive, no less. Are you alright? Now I'm hearing Miss Yui's voice. If this turns out to be a fake too, I'm really going to lose it. What are you talking about? Come on over here. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. It really is you. Where have you been all this time? We've been worried sick. I'm so sorry. It must have been terrifying in here all by yourself. Oh God, Miss Yu, you're injured. Pretty severely too, from the looks of it. She was, ah! Uh... My arm is in bad shape. Shinozaki, come on, stand up. We're getting out of here. Uh, oh, shit. Eek! Quickly, grab a hold of my leg. Climb up my body. Miss Yui, no. Quickly! Eh. I can't support both of our weights with one arm for much longer. My fingers are... Hurry, Shinozaki, you'll fall in too. I I know. My fingers I can't hold on. Ah uh, Ah, uh, Miss Yui! Miss Yui! Uh, come on, you're almost there. Ah uh, Shinozaki Miss Yui! Grab her hand! No, don't! I'll climb up on my own. This floor could collapse at any minute. You two need to get out of here. But, do it! And Kishinima, take care of Shinozaki. Miss Yui. Uh, Shinozaki, come on. Shinozaki. Uh, Shinozaki, be strong. No matter what happens, be strong. You have abilities that can outmatch anyone else's. And once you get out of here, I know everything is going to work out just fine. You know... With that dream of yours we were talking about. Now get the hell out of here. 
Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? Go! Now! Shinozaki! No! No! Miss Yui! Miss Yui! Shinozaki, come on! We have to move! Let go of me! I don't care anymore! Shinozaki! Listen! You may be willing to let Miss Yui's sacrifice go to waste, but I'm not! Kishinuma! This is what she meant when she said, be strong, damn it. Who? It's the principal. West well, Train's looking incinerator. Almost seems like something you'd see in a crematorium. What's that? Looks like somebody threw something in there. That's very yellow. You can see a yellow ribbon a few feet in, covered in suit. I think it's the ribbon from Sachiko's dress, but it's just out of reach. Uh, arm's not quite long enough. From the darkness within the incinerator, the figure of a girl can faintly be seen. She's squatting with hands around her knees. Whoa, whoa, it's... It's Sachiko. Upon meeting your gaze, she spins in place and begins crawling deeper into the machine until she vanishes from sight. What the hell? It's pretty cramped in there, but it looks like maybe with a little effort you could crawl down pretty far through this thing. Actually, look over there. There's a tiny pinprick of light. It might be a room or something. Good as any. Wait, are you nuts? This is an incinerator. What if somebody lights it up while we're inside? Good point. Okay, you wait here, and I'll go by myself. Out you. Okay, fine, I'll go too. I told you to wait at the top. No way, I'm coming with you. Damn it. Well, be careful in here, okay? There are some pretty thick clumps of dust and ash that you'll get yourself caught on if you don't watch out. Thanks. Damn, it's a tight squeeze in here. We've come pretty far, but it seems like we're still only about halfway. Maybe it's because the ceiling's so low that I can't even come close to standing up. But I've honestly never felt this uneasy before in my life. If the exits all get blocked, I could wind up stuck in this position forever. Ah, what the hell's wrong with me? I shouldn't think about things like that. Ah, man, my elbows are sore as hell. I've never seen so much dust and ash before. I can't keep breathing this in. Uh, uh, uh. Ow. Hey, you alright? Just pricked my hand a little. There's some kind of metal wire in here. Good to know. Turn back. Please, turn back. Well, that clinches it. There's definitely something in here. Come on. Oh, okay. Turn back. Stay away. Mm. 
Didn't I tell you to turn back? <laughs> underground tunnel system. Who would have thought there'd be something like this beneath the school? Big brother, I have to pee again. Yuka, can you hold it? Mm. These heads just lined up like prizes. God. Mm. These don't look particularly old either. I think they're victims of the curse who got trapped here, just like us. What kind of sick person would take the time to line them up so neatly? Maybe someone obsessive compulsive? Someone who takes pride in his collection? Not someone I'd want to meet, that's for sure. supposed to remember this. Damn it. My mem short term memory is not that good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't have a good memory of what was going on, so... once and right twice again dear Shiho stay strong no matter what happens no matter what you may see never lose that immovable will of yours Fight the darkening. Don't let it take you over. If you can beat it, then you can beat fate itself. Pretty ominous message. Doesn't bode well for us. Huh. Eek! Ah, uh, ah, uh, wait, wait. People? Come again? I, um, you, you. Here, you drop this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. But what just happened? I have no idea. He just looked at my face and then he... Come on, we should take... We should make our way through here as quickly as we can. Weird things seem to be the norm down here in these tunnels.
Let's see. I just now recognize that song. That's the Kagome song. Oh, that was creepy. section room yeah what what is this place the smell is absolutely overpowering are you okay you can what the hell is this room what was it used for the table sure does have a lot of blood stains on it There's a large wardrobe here, big enough to fit a human being. It's currently empty. Wow, you can go underneath it? Oh, I see. It's propped up on one end, then. That's why. It's not good. Someone's coming. What, what do we do? The footsteps are getting closer. Under the table, quickly. Won't we be found right away? There's no place else we can all hide. Come on.
I think he's gone. Naomi, are you alright? <laughs> Naomi. Where where the hell is that bastard taking Seiko? Wait, Naomi. She's been through enough as it is. I can't just let this go on. Wait, please, don't run off by yourself. Naomi. Yuka, come on. Stay right by my side. Okay. It's safe. It's a safe bet she's following this trail of blood. Let's try to catch up with her. Okay. You dick. I didn't get a chance to read the skeleton in the corner. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see. Apparently, if you go past this doorway here, you wind up with a wrong end. So, <laughs> as curious as I am to find out since I just saved, I think I won't. <laughs> it stops here. Huh? The trail of blood from Shinohara's body. It stops here. But why? Huh. There's so many bodies. Wait. Kishinuma. Kishinuma, are you here? No. Please, no. Kishinuma! Why? Why do I have to be all alone in here? No. No, he couldn't be. Is he in here with me after all? No! Hey. Don't even think about it. killing me off just yet. Oof. Kishinuma. Before I realized it, I got stuck going down a different chute. Almost wound up in the pool. That would have been a real pain in the ass. You okay, Shinozaki? Uh-huh. Wow, so many fucking bodies.
The remains of a female student are floating in the water. Sayaka Oe. Holy shit! That's Naho's friend! Yet another decaying corpse. Katomi Nashimoto. It appears to be a corpse of a senior high school student. Masayuki Hayashi. Yet another decaying corpse. Ken Fuji. Yet another decaying corpse. Sutuya Azuma. Yet another decaying corpse. Ryoto Kumakawa. It appears to be a corpse of a senior high school student. Hinata Oin. It appears to be the corpse of a senior high school student. Kaori Hasegawa. Yet yeah, another decaying corpse. Izuru Okami. Yet yeah, another decaying corpse. Yuki Sakakibara. Yet yeah, another decaying corpse. Marina Okaya. Okada. Yoshiki and Shinozaki. Mochita. And Yuka too. Good to see you guys. Uh-huh. You two okay? You're out of breath. Naomi. Naomi went after this monster that took Shinohara's body. And she got separated from us. Nakashima is missing? Miss Yui too? God. It's, it's all my fault. Be strong, remember? Those were Miss Yui's last words. So we have to do what she says and get out of here alive, okay? Right? Miss Yui, you know, I can't even think of her with anything but a smile on her face. No matter what we're going through, Miss Yui's always been there for us. She's been rooting for us since the very start. I'm sure she still is. Come on, we have to do this for Miss Yui. Let's not worry her anymore. Finally, the gang is together. Oh, the four of us. Please be okay. Seiko? Seiko, where are you? I won't let them hurt you anymore. I'll protect you. Yumi. Ah, Yuki, you're here. Does this mean you still have control over your will? Ayumi, don't give in. Huh? You've been stricken with a darkening. Its effects are beginning to take hold of you. There's still time to stop it, but you must hurry. She's here, just beyond the next room. Whether or not you'll be able to return your own to your own world depends entirely on her. Go, quickly. Wait, what about Naomi? We can't leave without her. She's fighting her own demons right now. she can overcome them, if she's able to resist her own darkening, she'll be alone. It should be possible to appease even Sachiko. Make sure you're ready. Or make certain you're ready. Ready to fight. I still don't know what the hell is going on in this godforsaken place, 
but I've come way too far to back down now. I'm in this till the bitter end. We understand. Come on, everyone. Let's do this. Just remember, the way out lies with Shichiko. You must find a way to get through to her, to touch her heart. To go through the walkthrough, and there's a chase, or I should say, an escape scene that takes place after everything's done, and you don't get too many second chances for it. So I had to make sure I wrote down a really quick uh, list to go through. Uh, Gary okay, saved. Let's do this shit. Murder scene. Gick. There's a rotting corpse hanging from the ceiling. It's Yoshikazu Yanagi Hori. Whoa. There's a rotting corpse. <sighs> ah, big brother, my head hurts. Yuka. It's pitch black. Is Sachiko in here? What's that? Is that Sachiko? I told you to stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't look at me. Sachiko? Sachiko, please, listen. We leave. Please, believe me. We mean you no harm. Leave now, or I'll kill you. Damn it, we're not getting through to her. My name is Shugo Taguchi. I work as Kokibiki's cameraman and general assistant. I've gotten separated from the boss, but I intend to do exactly as I promised him I would. I'll keep filming until the bare end. No matter what happens, I won't miss a minute. These records were sold to validate my exits. No! Don't! What the... It's the little girl's room. Who's in there? I need to stay out of sight. I hope I'm able to get this whatever it is. Please, don't do this. Naomi. My body. We've been paralyzed. I can't move. Oh God, is everybody all right? My ears, my ears. Big brother, save me. Hack. Yuka. Yuka, God, I can't even turn my body to look at her. Are we all frozen like this? Uh, what are you doing to me? Ow, ow, please, stop, please. Yuka, what's happening? 
Uh, so Chico, you bitch, leave her alone. Moshida, get on with it quickly. Get on with what? Appeasing her? Just hurry. Okay. Naomi, please, don't do this. Two girls, one's on the bucket with her hands tied behind her back and a rope around her neck. No, no, please, Naomi, wake up. Naomi, Naomi. Ah. Hey. She just kicked the bucket away. My God, this is murder. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What the hell did I just see? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, help! Save me! So Chico, this is yours. It's a part of your body that was taken from you. Open your eyes, please. Mommy. You promised. Your mom's been suffering just as much as you have. The things you're doing aren't making her happy at all. Who? Where's my mommy? Where am I? I can move again. Does that mean it's working? Uh... Ah, uh, 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 uh. Naomi. Come on, everyone. Take out your paper doll scraps. Okay. Got it. All right. Okay. So, Chico, here are please. We want to go home. That's what charms really are. They represent our regards for other people. They're like micro microcosms for the soul, right? You and your mom both suffer such horrible fates. But all we want to do is free you from that suffering. So Chico, we beg of you. 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 You guys, Yuka, Naomi, is everyone all right? It's okay. It's nothing serious. I'll use my ribbon to help stop the bleeding. Hopefully that should be enough. Ayumi, thank you. Yuka? We did it. Satoshi. Naomi, I'm so glad you're okay. What happened with Shinohara? I'll tell you later. Oh, uh, okay. Yuki. Now is your only chance to escape. The veil between your world and this school is at its thinnest. The gate is open. You need to hurry and get outside the building before it closes. Complete the ritual. Once it closes, this nexus will return to the way it was, and you have lost your chance to get out. What? So what's going to happen to all of you, then? It appears we've become a part of these spaces. Aside from Sachiko, none of us can be saved. 
Right now, I'm free, but it's not going to last. Soon, I'll continue shaping this place just as I always have. No. This school has already begun creating a new Sachiko. Please, go. Get out of the building while you still can. Oh, uh. Eek! Come on, let's get out of here. One. Lovely. Shit, that's two. Get your ass up there. Shit. Dress going. Fuck. Please tell me I made it. Yeah, I think so. We made it. All we have to do now is climb over this fence and we're home free. Let's go. All right. Okay. Please work. Please work. Please work. Big brother, Yuka, we really made it. Yuki, thank you so much. And so, the five of us who survived the ordeal were able to return the Kisaragi Academy to the real world in our own time. For a while, we were all just so happy to be home and to be alive. We were overjoyed. But it didn't take long before the grim reality of what happened wiped the smiles off of our faces. Miss Yui, Shinohara, Morishige, and Suzumoto. They weren't with us anymore. Well, be careful on your way home, okay? I will. Goodbye. Later. Wait, before you all go. Hmm? 
Don't stay home tomorrow. Come to school, please. Okay. I didn't think I'd be able to sleep that night after all the things I'd seen. But I wound up sleeping like a rock. The next morning, it was with heavy hearts that we all trugged toward a school devoid of Miss Yui and the others, yet fate still had one more sick twist in store for us. Shinohara? Morishige? Am I supposed to know who you're talking about? Our homeroom TA's name is Matsudo. You still half asleep or something? A transfer student? Are we getting someone new? Huh? It was like... The four people who died in that school had never existed to begin with. No, this isn't right. How can no one else remember any of them? All those times we spent with Seiko and the others. Am I just supposed to accept that none of that really happened? Miss Yui, Suzumoto, Morishige, and Shinohara. Are you telling me that they only exist in our memories now? That's just beyond cruel. Still absorbing innumerable souls and ingesting the thoughts of innocent boys and girls. Heavenly Host Elementary School stands firm with a newly appointed Sachiko at its core. There are those precious few who survived, those who lost their lives, and those who were overcome by the dark curses therein. And among them all are the spirits of those who were wronged, bearing an unimaginable pain and endlessly searching for respite from their sadness. For a peace, or for a place to call home. Chapter 5, End Sorry to call you in here like this, Satoshi. Oh, it's not a problem at all. What's up? There's something I want you to see. Here. Huh? Isn't that? It is. It's that unsent, te unsent text message from Shinohara I showed you. Yeah. I need to tell you something. So it was you? Seiko couldn't move, but instead of saving her, I put a noose around her neck. You don't remember any of it? When I saw that scene play out, my mind just shut down. I couldn't think at all, and a black mist began forming around me. I was slipping away. I didn't care either. Nothing mattered to me anymore. I would have welcomed death. Ah! Uh. Seiko! Seiko! I... I... God, no! Seiko, I wish I could take it back. The darkness had begun seeping into every pore. My body was pitch black. I was right on the verge of losing consciousness, and then... This is that text message. Why am I receiving it now? Doesn't matter. 
I don't even want to live anymore. Living is too painful. I'm sure Seiko would have died hating me. There's just nothing left to live for. It's the same message. Seiko, are you trying to tell me something? She must be spamming me. She's probably furious. No. There's no way she's not mad at me. We had such a huge fight. She can't possibly forgive me. Especially not after what I did to her. Seiko, there's no excuse for my actions. You... You must hate me, right? You have to hold some kind of grudge. No hard feelings. Seiko. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you, Seiko. I love you. Hey, Seiko, she... She really existed, didn't she? She really did spend all that time with us, right? She did. She was real, Naomi. Miss Yui and the others, too. I can't stand the thought that we'll never see them again. That I'll never see them again. Just one last time. I just want to talk to Seiko. One last time. I know you do. the credits now I may have actually finished the game but there are still some 10 extra chapters to mess around with so this won't be the this won't be the finale the real finale will be me doing those extra chapters as far as all the wrong ends, though, um, because of that repetitive amount of work it takes to get them all, so you can unlock all ten of them, I'm probably going to do that off camera. Because, like I said, I'm not quite sure how to go about it either. Oh, look, it's lag. Oh, that's great. I should have kept my old walkthrough. Because now I don't know how to unlock the chapters. Because the old one actually showed how. Crap. <laughs>
Hmm. <laughs> Yay, so I have to get me in there walk through again. We'll save. Yeah, was I'm not. I don't have the walkthrough I used to have. That uh, despite how half-assed it was, at least it told me how to unlock all the extra chapters. Let's see how many I have unlocked. One, two, four, and six. There's still three, five, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> yeah, there's still quite a few hump, hoops to jump through. And you have to get certain wrong ends to unlock each of them, if I remember. Or extra ends in some cases. Ironically, I believe number 10 actually requires you to go through number 6 or something like that. Which means I'll just, as I play them in order, that one gets naturally unlocked. But yeah, I'll, do, I'll go ahead and do these on another part, which will be part uh, 12, which will be the finale. So anyway, I hope you guys actually enjoyed the Let's Play, and hopefully you'll be looking forward to seeing me do the extra chapters too, even though there's not much to them. Apparently only the first two chapters require any involvement, and everything else you just read through. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you want, and hopefully I'll see you next time. This is Anime Brian, signing out.